Hello everyone, my name is Nestor Falcon and in today's session I'm going to explain the different ways we have to do log ingestion in DX operational intelligence. So at a high level we can collect logs from different sources. In this schema we have pointed four different data sources to collect logs from. So number one is from network devices or servers. We can collect syslogs over UDP or TCP. Number two is from any Windows or Unix servers. We can collect application or generic logs using file bits. We can also collect logs from Kubernetes using again file bits. And number four, we can also retrieve logs from Google Cloud Platform. In this session, we will cover option one and two. So this is just a brief explanation of the different mechanism we have to ingest logs, as I explained before. The value we're going to get is to be able to leverage ML and AI from log analysis and correlate that data with metrics, topology, inventory, alarms, etc. And that will produce relevant insights from our network infrastructure application or user experience KPIs. So to do log collection, we're going to use the DX gateway, which is a component that we can download from the DX SaaS platform. So we can go to settings, downloads, and we can download it here from DX gateway. So the DX gateway contains several components like the, the on-prem gateway, which is an interface to collect alarm from DX SaaS and send it to third-party products. We also have the on-prem ITSM, which integrates with CA service management to track and manage alarms. So we have also DX Resmon to integrate with third party products. And then the DX collector, which is the component that we're going to use to, during today's session for log collection. So this is the DX gateway solution high level architecture. We can see here the several components that I have mentioned before. And we can see the log stash, the log collector that we're going to use today to collect uh, syslog data and also generic log data. So we have downloaded the DX gateway to a Linux machine and now we're going to proceed to install it and configure it. So we unzip it and we can see that it contains all the components that I mentioned before. To do the initial configuration, we need to go into the config folder and here we have a file called generic config. This file is going to take basically three parameters that we need to put only uh, once for the installation, right? Which is the tenant ID, username, and password. And then when we install it, the XK is going to go to our SaaS platform and fetch all the token and authentication needed to do the integrations. So I have added my user password and tenant ID in the generic config file. And now we're going to proceed to the installation. So there we go, we're going to start services and for the time being, I'm going to start only the log stash component. So we have completed the installation of log stash. We can confirm that it's uh, running. And it is also listening on port 6514. So now we're going to configure RC's log to send raw syslog data to log stash and from there it will flow to SAS. So to recap, we have installed the log collector and now what we're going to do is to, we're in the point number one, so we're going to configure our syslog to send raw syslog data to log collector and from there it will be forwarding to DX operational intelligence. So to do that, we need to go into the rsyslog.com file. And we need to add a forwarding rule in the bottom of this file. So as you can see, here is my forwarding rule. I have also uncommented this file, these variables that are needed for the forwarding syslog data. And then we have added this template. Here I'm tagging my data with my tenant ID. And as you can see here, we are also, we are also say, specifying which IP do we need to send the data to. This is where logstash runs, and this is the port where logstash is listening. So with this configuration, I'm going to restart RC's log, and now we're going to start seeing data in DX operational intelligence. So right now what is happening is that RC's log 
is sending data to Logstash, and Logstash is sending data to DX Operational Intelligence. So to verify that the data is being ingested, we're going to go into DX Operational Intelligence. This is our landing page, and we're going to browse to DX Dashboards. And from here, we can use one of our out-of-the-box dashboards to see the syslog data. So here we go. We can see that in the last five minutes, we are ingesting syslogs from this host, which is the host where we have installed Logstash. And we can slice and dice all the syslog received from our Logstash running on-prem. So we have completed point number one, and now we're going to showcase point number two, where we can use FileBit agent to collect data from any Unix or Windows server and send that data through log collector, log stash, to DX operational intelligence. So to do that, inside of our DX gateway, we have the log stash folder, and inside we have the installers for FileBit for Linux and for Windows. So we go into the FileBit folder for Linux. And here we can run the install FileBit script. The logs location, the tenant ID, and then the host name where Logstash is running. So installation has completed. Let's now take a look at the FileBit configuration file. So we are now in the home directory of FileBit. And there we're going to modify the jump file that drives the configuration of FileBit. As you can see, we have several sections, like depending on the type of load that we want to monitor, like generic load, syslog. We also have yeah, Apache, etc. So we're going to add uh, the monitoring of a generic log in this section. So first of all, what we want to do is to enable the monitoring of generic logs. And for this demo, we're going to monitor a semantic security log. So there we go. It's in var semantic set logs. And we can also give here a regular expression or a pattern to monitor multiple logs at once. I will also add a couple of tags here. And we are done. So let's restart FileBit. And right now, FileBit is sending data to Logstash on-prem, which is forwarding that generic logs, and it could be a log4j, Apache, Tomcat, Oracle, etc., uh, into our DX operational intelligence. So let's take a look to see how the data is presented using DX dashboards. So to do that, I'm going to create a new dashboard. I'm going to query metadata, and I'm going to use the generic log index because, as you can see, we are monitoring a generic log. So we can see this spike here that indicates all the documents that we have ingested a few moments ago. So changing to the last 15 minutes, we can see the data there. So let's now show the raw content of those logs coming into our data lake. So I can select which columns I want to present here, like timestamp, message, log type. But for the purpose of this demo, we are completed now. We have ingested roses logs and also generic logs. Thank you for watching.